All right. What distance? Is this fine? All right, good. What's your name? Can you get a hold of me? All right. Oh, he was tripping when I pull up on him with my taser. So I don't know what's going on. Gentleman over there. He was professional, I'll be honest. But when he saw my taser or my gun, he was like, oh, oh, oh. He, he ain't messing around here. No, my man, we don't mess around here. Especially me. That's it. You're done? Yeah, we're done. All right, what's your name? Sergeant, Walker. sergeant. How long it took you to become a sergeant? How long did it take you? Yeah. Uh, it's, a, it's a process. It's a process? It's a testing process. Yeah. A testing process. yeah, you test. So they're, they don't just promote you because they want to promote you? Correct. Oh, damn. So it, does that include like, any complaints you had in the force, use of force, and stuff like that? Does that count? So when you get promoted, if you have a, a lot of complaints on you or if you have a lot of um, use of force, uh, unlawful uses of force against people, does that affect your promotion? Do you, do you get my question? Uh, not exactly. No. But I can tell you this. If, if somebody had a bunch of unlawful uses of force. Yes, sir. Then investigated and, and they could be disciplined for that. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, I see, I see. Mr. Walker, right? All right, cool. Um, how long, what station are you in? Are you in Bakersfield, Bottom Willow? Bottom Willow. What are you doing here? I mean, if you, I'm not, not I'm not to, trying to give you BS why are you here, but what brought you to this town? Oh, so you, you this is your like, well, Highway Patrol covers pretty much everything, right? Oh, so you're pretty much the king of the street. Yeah, since I cover all the way to the edge of town. Okay. I get, like, a couple there at McDonald's. No, 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 I'm, I'm, no, no. I understand. Don't think that I'm giving you BS because no, no, no. on why you're driving here or stuff like that. No, I'm not trying to, like, I understand it's your job. You're supposed to patrol the street. Yeah. I was just wondering, like, if you maybe you, you got called there or something and and you were here. Okay. What do you think about me having a taser? Did that trip you out for a moment? Did you thought it was a gun? I, I, I looked at it and inspected it. You know, wow. And it, it's similar to, it's not exact, but similar in the fact that it's yellow and black. Yeah. And that tipped me off. And that, that kind of, really that's. Really quickly that it was a taser. I noticed, yeah. And then, you know. It's, yeah. It's not unlawful for a person to have oh. a taser. Oh. So. Thank you so much, man. You're very professional. You were very cooperative. You I tried to. You were professional to me. Uh, I was just waiting for, I'll be honest. I don't pick on cops because you're a cop. I would never do that. I would never pick on you just because you're a cop. I'm going to flip you off. No, I would never do that. I always wait for the cop's reaction. Depending on your reaction, that's what reaction you're going to get off of me. Like, right. I'll and, be honest. And, yeah. And the, you know, the really, that, that should be all right. Yeah, and I'm, well. yeah, yes. You yes. came off and you were confrontational. Oh, no, 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 no. And I would have handled it differently. I yeah, I'm not going to get out of jail. <laughs> and, and yeah, no, and I wouldn't like to get a hard time. It's not my my thing, you know. Right. Have you ever heard of Crazy Camera Boy, Current County Transparency? Look up Gonzalez versus California Highway Patrol. Actually, yesterday, we already closed a case for um, what we were in charge for, and now my lawsuit was actually on hold because of that, because of my friend being charged by Fresno CHP. Now my lawsuit is not on hold, and we're going to proceed. I'm actually looking at half a million dollars because of because of lawful arrest from the CHP in Fresno. I don't know if you heard that case. Yeah, I wasn't lawfully detained for like half an hour. Well, I was detained, but the cop said I was under arrest. And that's all I needed for me to put a lawsuit. Because if he would have said you're, you're being detained, it would have been different. The lawsuit would have been smaller. But he said you're under arrest. So I was under arrest. So he screwed up. Chad Moran. I told him I was going to take his house and I was going to drive his wife car. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to do that. And when I tell you straight up, I got, I got lawyers that they're bulldogs. That they crave for cops like him just for us to with them just because they like doing that to people i'll be straight up i'm not gonna lie to you like if you would have gave me a reaction right now like it would have been going south i'll be honest but you were professional you handled this with care and i'll give you props man that's the reason why you are a sergeant and i'll give you props i'll tell my hat to you man thank you so much i hope you're an example to other people and other cops watch you that you're doing good so they can learn from you
They could because last time in Keys, I was arrested because of my taser. Oh. Yeah, so that's another lawsuit that they didn't even file with charges on me, so they're screwed too. So I got like I got like four lawsuits right now on my jacket that I'm waiting for. So but my point is not to sue because it takes process. It's a lot of time. I have to spend five thousand to ten thousand bucks on a lawyer, which I make more than that on YouTube a month. And I can afford that, but the hassle that you have to go through court and all that BS is not worth it, man. It's not worth it when you can you guys can act professional like you did. You see? Yep. So I don't have to worry about me feeling unsafe with you. I actually feel safe next to you. I hope you feel safe. I'm not gonna touch my thing or do something to you. I hope you feel safe because I wouldn't do that either. Yeah, yeah, but I would assume that as you suggested or said, you've been through this process enough. Oh yeah. To know that if you were to make some overt Oh, I would have got shot. Yeah, mom, I'm not. I'm good for that. I'm good for that. Like I, I respect the law, and I, I try to follow the law for the same reason. Right. You know. That's how I see it. And, yeah. Uh, again, it goes back to the very beginning. I saw you walk up. I knew you were filming. Yes. It's obvious. Yeah. And uh, I just asked for a little bit of space. You give me the space. Yeah. No. 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 Yeah. If the distance was. Yep. Was good enough. My business. And this is something people don't understand. Even if you would have just screamed at me, I would have probably still moved back. Even though I didn't have to, or I kind of have to, but I didn't want to. But I would do so because I'm being advised by my Lord that I already have a cop push it, that me push it. Because if I push it, I'm gonna look bad. My, my case can be dropped, my lawsuit can be dropped, but if I would have moved and you would have pushed it, just like the cop from Fresno, he told me to move on the other side of the street. I went over there. He followed me, he arrested me, he illegally ID'd me. Because of that, I got a lawsuit. Because I followed what he said and he wanted to push it. If I would have stand inside, he would have arrested me and I would have been facing charges for trespassing. So like, I know how to play the game. I'm a smart man too. I'm a businessman actually. Because that's my way to do business. Stay safe, Mr. Walker. I like you a lot. I like you a lot, man. Thank you. Be safe. All right, Casey Camera Boy, Mr. Walker gets 100 pass right here. So that's his unit. If you want to give him a compliment or a good review, you already know who to call. Casey Camera Boy, hey, you know what I'm saying? So we're here. I pull up on the cop with the taser, and I don't care. So I'm the type of guy, I tell you, shut up. I'm a businessman. Oh, yeah. No, it's not being a kid bro it's being respectful it's giving respect to someone who deserves respect or well, at least that's how i see it you know so he was respectful he asked me nicely and as i told him even if he would have screamed at me i would have still moved and have him push it why because of that you're supposed to have them push it if not then how are you gonna get the lawsuit how are you gonna have them act dumb i'm a smart man i listen to my lord before anything and anybody so Casey Camera Boy, he's about to leave. I think he's gonna get someone. Who knows? Can you guys hear me? Oh, I hope that. Can you guys hear me? Give me a one. There you go, Casey Camera Boy, once again. Uh huh.